Good Monday morning, folks. Uh, I'm down here in Venus today. We got a uh, engine harness to do on this concrete truck. It's a ISX 12 or an X12, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've already got the hot side of the engine disassembled. I'll show you real quick. So this is a cold side. Got some of the plugs taken off. Still got basically this half to do. And then over here, I had to pull the air cleaner off. I got all these disconnected. Got the harness pulled back. Wait a second. There's one more little bitty harness. I got to get that knock sensor off of there or get it unplugged. Get that harness fed around. But get that taken off, uh, get the new one put on, make sure my code goes away. Uh, we kept on a code for exhaust gas pressure after EGR valve. I think that's what it is, EGR outlet or some shit like that. So uh, customer replaced the sensor and the pigtail. This is the one that I looked at last week or the week before. Um, but I ended up having to order the harness for it. So we got the harness in. Um, if y'all like this kind of shit, hit that subscribe button. <sighs> Leave me a comment. Um, I don't know what else you're supposed to do. Hit the thumbs up button. Fuck something, I don't know. But I'm gonna get back out here and get at it. It's hard to record in this shit because we've got, you know, engines running fucking everywhere. There's one there, one there. One on the other side of this one, one in front of that one. So it's hard to record shit out here and actually be able to hear anything that I say. I mean, I can set y'all up. Fuck it, that's what I'll do. I'll just set y'all up and y'all can hear what you hear and don't what you don't. So y'all stay tuned.
way somewhere. Out of my way. plug back there. I don't know if y'all can see it. There's one on the right. It's got a locking tab. There ain't no fucking way to get down there. Can't get to it from the bottom. Can't get to it from the top. Power steering pump's on the way here. The ECM and ECM coolant plates on the way here. You got fuel line or coolant lines. That's fucking stupid. Hey, Mr. Engineer, fuck you. That's bullshit right there. Let's see if I can figure that motherfucker out. Alright, guys. I've got the new one on the intake side. We got it routed for the rail pressure sensor. Uh, I'm not going to connect any of these because we're replacing the oil pressure sensor. I don't know if you can see down in there, but there's oil intrusion going into the harness. Uh, so all of these will get connected. Uh, the technician that works here is actually running to get me that sensor, which goes way back there in the hole. I don't know if you can see it. There's a hole way back there in the back. Anyways, that's where the, the sensor goes. Um, but I've got this pretty much routed up here. Got the injector harness connected. I've got the crankcase breather connected, the intake manifold pressure. We've got the uh, fuel air shut off valve, uh, the fuel air pressure, or air pressure sensor on the fuel manifold. Uh, we've got the other fuel air sensor. We've got the air, pre air the fuel pressure uh, solenoid or fuel solenoid connected. I got to get the engine position sensor connected, which is in the very back back there, and then work my way onto the hot side of the engine. That way, by the time it gets back with my sensor over here, I can get it put in, get this part of the harness ran, and be done with it. So, y'all stay tuned. All right, so hot side of the engine. I've got the turbo, oh shit, uh, air pressure, turbo pressure sensor. Um, or right, this is the turbo inlet air pressure sensor. We've got the EGR outlet temp sensor we've got the egr differential pressure sensor we've got the egr outlet pressure sensor all wired up we've got the vgt actuator connected to the main harness we've got the vgt actuator connected we've got the uh, diesel doser we've got the ex 
exhaust gas pressure sensor, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe. Uh, yeah, exhaust gas pressure sensor. It's got a sensing or a, a tube that goes down to the exhaust manifold. We've got engine position sensor in the back. And then down here, we've got the knock sensor connected. And there's another wire that comes up for the turbo speed sensor off the back of the uh, turbo uh, housing. I forgot what it's called right now. But I've got all this ran. I got to get it buttoned up, get it all zip tied so it doesn't rub on nothing. And then he should be back here shortly with that turbo speed, or not turbo, oil pressure uh, sensor. Then I can get the cold side buttoned up. Cool thing about this harness is it always comes with new P clamps. So you can keep all your old P clamps and use them to secure stuff elsewhere. They always come in handy, so y'all stay tuned. I've got to, I'm gonna get this tightened up and then get the air filter, air cleaner, whatever you wanna call it, get that installed back up here. Get the get this side pretty much buttoned up sealed up done and then whenever he gets here get that other side finished up get it started check make sure we ain't got no codes and then uh get this baby out on the road test so y'all stay tuned all right ladies and gentlemen i got her done uh harness is all buttoned up we got the new sensor in uh road tested it no codes came back um i went ahead and I had to update my story on the RO, so I went in and had the customer get one of their uh, drivers to road test it, maybe do a little bit more of a road test than I did. Uh, they road tested it, none of the codes came back. Uh, the only thing that flagged was transmission fluid filters. Um, it's a maintenance item, so they said they were gonna do the transmission service on it. Nothing for me to do. So I'm done for the day. Snagged a harness and that was it. So I'm going home, I'm gonna get this video put up. It's a pretty easy video, I'd say. Pretty easy day, so. Uh, if y'all like this kind of shit, I know I didn't get to record much because I was out in the heat and this GoPro overheats pretty easily. So, uh, can't really record too much outside, which being a mobile tech, that where I'm at all day every day um, but I do wish y'all a, a good day good Monday hope y'all had a good one and uh, y'all see me hopefully again tomorrow so all the parts for our Detroit came in hopefully get that all put together tomorrow and running uh, go from there but just the kind of shit y'all like man hit that button hit that subscribe button we're up to 300 and 53 subscribers right now which i never thought there'd be 353 people that would actually like some shit that i do but y'all do so hit that button leave me a comment down below and uh y'all have a great day